G'day there, Pete Moriarty here. Google have just released a massive price update for all editions of G Suite, and oh boy, it's a big one. We're gonna be covering all the details on the increase in price across the G Suite plans, and also how you can save when it comes time to upgrade. A lot has been happening in the last 10 years. Google launched G Suite a little over 10 years ago, and so many new features, apps, plugins, solutions have been added, and they haven't changed the price. It seems a bit weird, doesn't it? I mean, there's so many things that go up every year. Taxes go up, your home utility bills go up, there's inflation, but Google has still stayed at that very bargain basement price line of five bucks a month. Now with most companies, when they bump up their pricing, it might be by a little bit. It might be 10%, it might be 20%, but for users in Australia, the price jump is actually quite significant. The current advertised price is a whopping more than 60% price increase on the current listed prices. Now that's for both the basic and the business plans. And that's going to be a little bit hard to swallow for many business owners who have not only budgeted for their costing for the year, but who potentially made the decision to take up G Suite on a cost basis because it is so significantly lower than any of the other business ecosystems you can use for productivity and collaboration. So let's take a look at this rationale for Google's price increase. Now, as I said, they've been improving the product over more than 10 years. And if we took, take a look back into the actual history of the product, when it launched, it was literally just Gmail and Google Docs and a calendar, and that was about it. It was effectively what they had in the consumer version of Gmail, and they just allowed you to set up your domain name. Now, back in those days, it was called Google for your domain, and then Google Enterprise, and then Google Apps, and then it became G Suite. They've also added a crazy number of new apps. We have Google Drive, which lets you store all of your non-Google documents online on each one of your devices. And for basic accounts, you've got 30 gigabytes of storage, which we used to have to pay Dropbox or other tools for. On the business accounts in the business SKU with G Suite, you're getting unlimited storage, which means you have no need for server or physical infrastructure at all anymore. It's all completely handled and that's all included in Google. Google launched Hangouts, which allows you to do video meetings and text-based conversations, which means that Slack is just not needed at all. Something like Skype for video calling or Zoom, you don't need to bother about paying for extra additional apps outside of the Google ecosystem. Then there's more advanced applications like AppMaker, you have Google Data Studio, which is now available for G Suite users, and all of the other hardware bits and pieces that Google's been developing over the years, like the Jamboard and Hangouts Meet hardware. All of these make it super easy for small businesses to get work done productively without having to have an IT degree or pay crazy amounts of money to external IT consultants to help you run and manage the IT in your business. Now, not only have Google been busy working out the actual front end of all of the applications and the services that we use every day, the back end and underlying infrastructure has also had massive amounts of investment. Literally billions and billions of dollars have been spent on Google building out their global network of undersea fiber pipelines. They've built out points of presence all over the world and including here specifically in Australia, which means G Suite is faster and easier to use for everyone who's using the platform. Google have also invested and taken G Suite from being just kind of a side department internally within their business to a Google Cloud organization that literally has tens of thousands of employees managing everything to do with the infrastructure on Google Cloud Platform and everything G Suite. And one of the things I really love about Google is previously where the G Suite applications were consumer driven, you know, G Suite was just a way of getting features for your domain rather than actually a, a product that Google wanted to drive as one of their core business units. Now G Suite is a true collaboration platform and is one of the forefronts of Google's pitch to businesses of all sizes. And what that means is features are now coming to G Suite first that aren't even in Gmail. Now we don't have parity on every single feature and there's still, still some annoying stuff like the Google Assistant not working with your G Suite calendar. But for the most part, we're getting great features built into G Suite as it's being developed as a business product rather than just a consumer driven afterthought for businesses. So how's the pricing change actually gonna go down? Well, if you're in the US, it's gonna be a couple of extra bucks for each one of the basic and the business plans, and of course, enterprise as well. Now, if you pay annually, you're still gonna get the discount when you pay annually, which is actually quite significant and very worthwhile for anyone to consider taking up. If you're based in Australia and New Zealand, whoa, the price increase is quite a lot. It's literally nearly 70% increase, and we pushed back a bit with Google and asked, well, you know, what's going on here? Why are we getting charged so much for this? The unfortunate reality is 
part of the situation with the economy at the moment. Google have decided to set the rates where they are. And also, you know, having a think about it, it's still very worthwhile for that price. It's still a very competitive price as well when you compare it to other solutions. So I decided while we're comparing, why don't we look at the main competitor to G Suite and that is Office 365. So I went along to their website, admittedly it's been a few years since I've been there, and I had a look at the actual pricing these days for Office 365. Now, of course in typical Microsoft style, I had to wade through their website to find the difference between the personal plans and the business plans, and then I was still confused when I was on the business page. But the interesting thing is the actual price. Now, Microsoft Exchange is what we're using ideally, typically to compare with G Suite. It's a email synchronization tool. It lets you have email on multiple devices, shared calendars, all the other bits and pieces and goodies that come in a corporate environment with Microsoft Exchange. However, when I compare the actual basic pricing plan for Microsoft 365 and the basic pricing skew for G Suite as well, the users on Office 365 didn't have Office. That's, that's the whole reason that you need Microsoft. So, when you buy a basic plan with Microsoft, you don't even get Word and Excel and all the other bits and pieces that a typical Office user actually needs to use. So I wasn't actually comparing apples to apples, and when I did compare apples to apples, the version of 365, which includes the actual licenses for Office as well, well, it still ended up being more expensive than Google. So the message from Google is, and me too, I guess, as their unofficial representative here, Greta Barrett, there's been amazing amounts of updates to this brilliant product over the last 10 years and there will continue to be more and more updates and investments happening in the G Suite world. But don't fear, we have some ways which you can save some money, including saving money this year before the renewal, and I'm going to take you through those now. So what's going to happen when the new pricing comes into effect? So April 2, new pricing comes in, that's the deadline, there's no taxis, backsies, there's no special deals, Google and Google and April 2 is April 2. Now, if you're on month to month billing, that means that right now you're paying every month for your Google licenses. And if you go up, we'll go down. It's kind of flexible. Google calls it flexible billing. Well, you're going to go into the new pricing from April 2 forward. But if you're interested in considering annual pricing, Google actually gives you two months free when you switch to annual billing instead of month to month. Now that's 16% savings on your annual Google bill. And if you don't have any plans of moving away from Google anytime soon, it's a great idea. Now, all you have to do is commit to working with Google for a year. You do have to pay annually as well. But if you add new staff halfway through the year, you just get charged a pro rata amount. So you don't get charged for a full license if you add someone. If someone leaves your business and you need to swap them out, um, then you don't consume a license. You, it's more like a user cap rather than a, uh, rather than a traditional software license. Uh, but what that means is that annual plans are gonna save you a lot when you choose to upgrade. Now, if you're currently paying month to month and you're interested in switching to annual, if you switch to annual billing before April 2, 2019, you will actually get to keep the old pricing, which means that you can effectively kick the can down the road for a whole year on having to update to the new pricing. Now, not only uh, are you gonna save up to 16%, you're gonna save potentially on, well, you're not gonna save it, but you're gonna not have to pay the increase of 60 to 70 percent on top of your existing Google licenses which you would have had to pay if you're in Australia or New Zealand and you've got the new pricing tiers. If you're interested in getting help discussing your billing, planning out for the price increase or for anything G Suite uh, then please get in touch with our team. You can head along to itgenius.com, you can message our Facebook page um, or you can even get in touch just by sending us an email help at itgenius.com and we look forward to catching up with you soon. For G Suite users looking for premium support for their G Suite account anywhere in the world, you might be interested in our Cloud Concierge membership program. Not only do you get unlimited support from Google professionals, they're all Google certified, Googly experts, and we can do anything in the realms of IT support, probably much more affordably than your current IT consultant. Not only do you get access to that support team, we also run fortnightly private Google trainings where you get access to all the latest news, all the latest updates, and our latest top tech tips and tricks on running everything and getting the most out of your G Suite investment. That and a online training portal with all of our video recordings, all of our past webinars recorded as well, and it's the absolute bee's knees for anyone running a small business with G Suite. I highly recommend you check it out. There's a link below, and until next time, we'll catch you soon. Cheers.